Hello YouTube, it's your boy B3, back with another kicking action figure review. Yeah, that's it, uh, that's it, we're done. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, we do have a really cool review for you guys today. It is the Ultraman 500 Ultra Hero Series, Ultraman Ace from Ultraman Jenga. Yeah, pretty cool figure. Uh... I've seen all of Ultraman Jenga. I haven't finished Ultraman Jenga S. I started watching it and then I stopped watching it because I wanted to catch up on some Common Rider and stuff. And I just never, I never picked it back up. But it's on Crunchyroll waiting for me. Uh, if you want to watch Ultraman Jenga and several other Ultraman shows, they are all on Crunchyroll. So, yeah. I mean, not every season is on Crunchyroll, but enough to get you into the series. Plenty. So, um, yeah. Ooh, sheesh. Ultraman Ace. Uh, the reason I picked up Ace specifically is because I was reading the Ultraman manga when I got this guy, and Ace had recently appeared. Plus, I was watching Ultraman Jenga, and I was like, I'll get the Spark Doll. Uh, it's pretty cool. They, I don't believe they ever actually use his Spark Doll in the show. It's just kind of like background stuff, mostly. I think, I think the monsters are mostly the background stuff. Plus, you know, you can get all the Ultra Brothers scaled to this line, which I think is why it doesn't have the scanner sticker on the bottom of the foot. Like many of my others do, like um, CEX Red King has the scanner sticker. That's because EX Red King is like the first monster that gets scanned in Ultraman Jenga S. So that's that. But I, I haven't seen Ultraman A scan, so I guess that's why he doesn't have a sticker. But there's its sculpted room because, you know, shared sculpts and stuff. But I mean, he's a good figure, well painted and stuff. Um, the detail's just as good as the big six inches. The paint is, too. I mean, he's painted up on the back. Actually, the biggest problem that I have with the Ultra 500 lines is that they aren't painted on the back. Or at least not much. Like, barely painted on the back, and not painted on the back at all. I mean, you know, lots of stuff going on with that. See, look, not painted on the back here either. So that's the several. The I only have a handful of these, and this is the only one that's fully painted on the back, except maybe Kimmerman. Kimmerman has his head painted on the back for sure, but whatever. You'll have to check out his review to see if that works out, I guess. But uh, here's his tag. You know, it's got a picture of him fighting a big-ass alien whose name I don't remember. I mean, if you expect me to remember the name of every single Ultra Monster, you're a crazy person. Uh, there's so many. But, uh, yeah, the Ultra Hero 500 series, uh, number five in the series. Very cool. Inside is blank, just with the stamped serial number or whatever. And then, um, legal and inf jargon on the back and whatnot. Uh, but I'll just cut this tag off down here and push that into the neck. <laughs> so that's fun. That's fun stuff. But, uh, yeah, you know, maybe they just paid more attention to him specifically because he's an Ultraman. I don't know. But he is a good figure. Articulation-wise, he has what kaiju collectors call the Ultra Articulation. I've heard many other reviewers refer to it that way. Uh, the rotation on the arms, and then just the rotation on the waist. When you have just the three joints like that, uh called the ultra articulation i don't remember what youtubers i've heard say that but i know i've heard multiples maybe ultraman chronos those were the first toy reviews i watched so i feel like it was probably him whatever um but yeah that's it so you guys want to see some size comparisons see how our ultraman compares with monsters and shit first up here he is with some other ultra 500 figures the ultra hero 500 series jean 9 here on the left major character in ultraman jenga and on the right uh, the Big Bad for the first season of Ultraman Jenga, which is the season that's not S, by the way. Dark Luigi, also known as Dark Rugeru some places, apparently. So that's how he scales with the hero and the monster lines. Pretty good, I think. Now I'll show him to you with some of the 6-inch Ultraman figures. Here we have the new Ultra Hero series, Ultraman, here on the left. And on the right, Bogal, the first main antagonist for Ultraman Mebius. Because, uh, you know, there was Yapul after that, and then, you know, Alien Emperor, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, you know, that's how he scales with those. Obviously too small, but he seems to scale well with the other 500 lines, which is good. Plus, uh, it's the scale of the Spark Dolls from the show, because they're a gimmick, you know. They 
put the Jenga spark on the doll's foot, scan the code, and then they can turn into that monster or ultra. It's all good. It's all Gucci. Uh, pretty cool gimmick, actually. Excellent way to sell toys, especially since these are so cheap. Yeah, I got this guy for like five bucks or whatever, so that's pretty cool. Uh, he and Dark Luigi together were only like ten bucks for real. I mean, they're, it's an extremely affordable line, and that's why I started getting it. Actually, I started getting it because I didn't know it was small, and I ordered John 9, and he came, and he was tiny. But <laughs> and I needed stuff to scale with him. But yeah, that's pretty, That's a, a, you know, the price is also a good reason. And I'm not going to lie, it's technically a Toku review, but it's also a Kaiju review. You know, the show's also full of Kaiju. And what kind of Kaiju review would this be without showing him with some Godzillas? Uh, since I've already shown him with a lot of imports, four imports, I don't know if that's a lot, but it is for size comparisons. Uh, I'm going to show them with some domestics. Here you have them with some domestic Godzillas. Here on the left, the Bandai America, Bandai Creations, Final Wars Godzilla. And then here on the right, the NECA 1954 Godzilla. So, um, yeah, that's all cool. That's how he scales with those big guys. And Godzillas are bigger than Ultraman anyways. So, could all be for the best if you're a size queen. Wait, let me rephrase that. And here we have some figures from the toy lines that I actually display my Ultra 500 series figures with. The Power Rangers Action Hero Series from Bandai America. Yeah, so it turns out the Ultra 500 series figures scale perfectly with post-Megaforce Power Ranger figures. Yeah, so like uh, Super Megaforce, Dino Charge, freaking uh, Ninja Steel, they work great with those figures. Not so much the Rangers, of course, because the Ultramen are giants and the Rangers are normal-sized people. But the Zords and villains, they work great with. Look how well he scales with the Plesio Charge Megazord here on the left from the Power Rangers Dino Charge Dino Supercharge Action Hero series. And how well he scales with this very cool villain figure from the Power Rangers Ninja Steel Action Hero series, Skull Gator. I mean, they look good. I actually, yeah, that's that's awesome. That's why I display these Ultramen with these Power Rangers. One, I don't have that many of them, but I do have a ton of these Rangers and villains and stuff. And two, because you know they don't really, there's not much room for them in my <laughs> in my kaiju collection. You know, kaiju figures, they all got those long tails and stuff. Not a lot of room. So yeah, that's why I display them with these figures, and I think it works great. So all in all, what are my final thoughts on the Bandai Japan Ultra Hero 500 series? Ultraman Ace figure? Well, number five in the line, you are a winner. Already better than a lot of my Ultra 500 figures because he's painted up on the back. So that's cool. You know, got mine with the tag. Cheap figure. Uh, but the same quality as the larger six inches. Just much more affordable. And scales with its own lines, it scales exactly with the monsters and stuff it's supposed to scale with, you know. It scales well with my Power Rangers, which I really like, because I'm a huge action hero Power Ranger collector. So that's awesome. And, oh god, it's just a cool little figure. I really dig it. Very, very happy to have it in my collection. Once again, it was under 10 bucks. Go to Amazon, you can get them with free shipping if you have Prime. I mean, it's a really good deal. So, uh, that's it. Figure, highly recommended. If you don't care about scale and you've been collecting the 6 inches, just go ahead and grab him. If you don't have an Ultraman Ace. You know, if I had a 6 inch Ultraman Ace, I probably wouldn't have bothered. I would have got a different Ultraman. But, I didn't have a 6 inch Ultraman Ace, so I got this guy. But yeah, that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. That is it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all later.